Hello and welcome to Hippogarve. Today we are at the uh, Castle of Padern. Um, just reading the sign behind me gives quite a bit of information about what you can expect to see. The castle was built around the 12th century. There's also a Roman bridge. We noticed it actually from the A22, driving if you've ever driven along the A22 or if you come to the Algarve and do that, you will see the castle perched up above. Um, it's, you can drive to a certain point, which is where we're at now, at the beginning, where, this, where the plaque is. It gives you that information. Um, it's got the route that you can take, and we're going to take it. It's not, apparently not too difficult, but we'll see. Thanks for joining us. Uh, so far the walk has been about, I'd say, a kilometer, kilometer and a half. Very, very easy walk. I would recommend that you wear good shoes, but, you know, there hasn't been any real hills. It's, it's been a path that's fairly well, um, you know, you can see the, where the path is leading. It's a little bit confusing, but not too bad. And uh, it gets sort of open, and then it gets very, you know, closed in, but it's, it's really pretty. I mean, there's beautiful vegetation, uh, olive trees everywhere. Bon dia. Bon dia. Hello. So we made it to the uh, the Roman bridge. It crosses a river. The river is dry, so we can actually walk down there. We're going to walk down there and take a look, a better look at the structure of the bridge. And the castle is just uh, just uh, above me, and so we're going to walk around here a little bit, and then we're going to head up to the castle. Okay, so we are now heading up towards the uh, the top, winding ourselves around towards the castle. Uh, about a half a kilometer from the Roman bridge that we stopped at, and now the the uh, the path is starting to get a little bit more it's definitely steeper, um, but it's it's wide and it's well defined. So we're just following it up there and uh, taking our time because it's warm. Got my stick just in case. <laughs> Okay, well, there Tracker. it is. There's the little castle wall. It's not little, it's actually big. Castle wall behind me. We made it. Ah, there goes my stick. Anyway, uh, apparently you can drive here. Uh, we got passed by a car. Looks like it's not a difficult road to drive up either, but I think, you know, personally speaking, I would take the walk. It's much more relaxing if you have the time and the energy. Much more rewarding too, I would imagine. So... That's what we did, and I suggest that you do the same. And uh, we're going to take a walk inside the castle. Well, I turned the corner, and this is what I ran into, a locked gate. Um, I can definitely see through the gate, though, that there is... That it, is open or it has been open because there's plaques inside explaining what's going on. There's also a plaque outside here with some. It was built in around 1189, at least that's what the, the historical source, uh, earliest historical source, is saying. And uh, basically, what we're going to try to do now is go around the back way and see if we can make it in. If not, sorry, we tried. We managed to circle the castle, and we couldn't find a way in, unfortunately. But it was, you know, beautiful views from up there. On the way, circling around, we noticed this other path that I'd actually seen at the bottom, but it wasn't sure how easy it would be to make it to the top. So we took the long way around. Now we're going to take the short way down. Uh, hopefully it won't be too uh, 
you know, treacherous, but it looks so far to be okay. And uh, enjoy the journey down.